Hey, welcome back to my channel. It's been a busy few weeks. The kids are out of school and I've been pretty busy with work here in Nashville, which is great, but I'm just gonna get caught up on some spring cleaning today. So this morning I'm just getting up, making myself a cup of tea. I'm gonna go check the garden and do my normal rounds. And then I'm gonna come back in and do some freshening up around the house and some spring cleaning. Before I go back into the house and get started on the spring cleaning, the garden is looking really beautiful and I will give you an updated garden tour very soon. We have lots of things coming, melons, berries, all sorts of goodness. For today's video though, I'm gonna share with you some of my top favorite household cleaning hacks using ingredients that you might already have in your kitchen. Really easy ways to freshen up your home for the spring. Also, these ideas are less wasteful, no harsh chemicals, and yeah, just really easy ways to freshen up your home for the spring and the summer. So lemons are a great way to get started. And first and foremost, I do this every single season. It's been on my channel for years and years, but in the summer, in the spring and the summer, I like to do lemons, rosemary, and vanilla extract. And I get that boiling and then I bring it down to a simmer and I leave that going the entire time that I'm cleaning the house and doing household chores. Right off the bat, that is just gonna make your house smell amazing. So I do that every single time without fail. And I have a different one for each season and I like to share them in my videos. The next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna vacuum. But today I'm gonna be vacuuming the rugs and the carpets, adding a little bit of something different than what I normally vacuum. Today I'm using some lemon essential oil with some baking soda. That's it, just a few drops of lemon essential oil and baking soda. And I'm going to just put that all over the rugs and the carpets that I'm gonna be vacuuming. We do have a steam cleaner that we like to use on our rugs and carpets regularly, but this is a quick and easy way to freshen up carpets and rugs without having to clean them. If you have animals or you know kids or you just wanna freshen up your carpets and rugs, I highly recommend trying this when you're vacuuming. So I'm doing this on all the carpets and rugs in the house, but definitely in the guest bedroom as well. We have lots of family visiting us this summer. My niece and nephew are coming to stay with us, Byron's family, uh, my parents. So we're really, really stoked and excited to have everybody. And I will do an updated guest prep video soon in this house. Um, but yeah, just basically making sure it's fresh and everything's ready to go. So we have, I think, our first set of guests coming in about a week and a half. Um, but yeah, just gonna go ahead and continue to vacuum and I wish you could smell it through the screen because it definitely, definitely helps freshen up the space. I'm also gonna open up the windows and just get the fresh air flowing. And in the spring, I do like to keep the windows open as long as we have screens. Save your lemon peels and your orange peels because if you add vinegar to them, you can use that as sort of like an all-purpose surface cleanser. I mostly like to have this around just for a simple surface spray. Instead of just dusting, I'll use this because it freshens up the space and makes it smell good. But you wanna let those seep. So if you have the lemon peels and the vinegar, preferably overnight, if not a few days, if you're gonna keep it, you just wanna make sure that you're keeping the lemon peels and orange peels under the vinegar because they can start to mold if any, you know, if they're exposed to any air. So I refill that and I do like to keep that where I keep the canned goods, which we don't have a lot right now, but we will once we come heavy into garden season, and I'll be sharing that on my channel as well. But I do like to keep that for all-purpose cleanser and just use a reusable spray bottle. And again, I'm mostly just using this for nooks and crannies around the house, just areas that I might normally only dust, but this smells much better and it just kind of helps freshen up the house overall. Today is also laundry day. I'm getting through a lot of laundry. Once I finish it, I'm actually gonna put about a cup of vinegar in the washer and just do a 
yeah, run the washer with the vinegar in it. That way it gives it a nice clean, starts it fresh, and gets rid of any any smell that it might have, which it, this is actually pretty new, so it's in pretty good condition, but just to run through with some vinegar is a quick and easy way to clean it. And if I need to, I'll wipe down the inside. If you have a squeegee, a hack and tip that I really, really love for cleaning couches or even rugs is this is really great for getting the dog hair off of a couch or even off of a rug. And it's great because you don't have to use, you know, those sticky rollers or it's just less wasteful. And you can clean this when you're done and still use it as a squeegee if you want. But it works like a charm. I highly recommend it. That all-purpose spray can also be used on a couch. I usually prefer to use the vinegar and lavender combination. Um, I'll put the ratios because it's vinegar and then also water, um, but I'm just gonna use the lemon one that I made. Also, a quick hack for cleaning your refrigerator is cream of tartar and vinegar. This is a relatively new hack for me that works really, really great, and I've previously used like a stainless steel cleaner that has a really strong scent and um, I know people have mentioned to just use vinegar by itself, but I feel like the cream of tartar and the vinegar together really, really shines it up beautifully. And it worked so, so well for me. I also can use it on my uh, stove top, which I'm gonna use it for that as well. So I really liked this hack and definitely wanted to share. Next, I'm gonna tidy up the front porch. Today was water delivery day, so I'm taking these. I like to take them out back so they're easier to bring into the kitchen. Just getting my workout in, I guess. And then, yeah, I'm just gonna clean up the front porch. The front porch is my favorite space in this new home. I really like the kitchen too, but I really love the front porch. I have a front porch day bed that I got from overstock.com and I literally come and take naps out here, especially in the spring and the summer and the fall. It's just very, very nice. And um, so yeah, I like to sweep and keep this area as organized as possible. It's one of my favorite places to hang out this time of the year. And you might be able to see the pool. We got an above ground pool. We got it all up and running before the kids were out of their last day of school because we knew that they were probably gonna wanna be swimming all summer long. It's already really, really warm here. They have been in the pool almost every single day for several hours and I myself have gotten in as well. Byron and the kids actually did uh, an Aldi run, the grocery run today while I was filming part of my video and uh, he picked this up for me which is so cool. It's something I would have definitely noticed which I didn't see it last time I did the grocery run um, but I love it. I'm glad I got the kitchen clean before he did that and so I'm gonna go ahead and put that on the day bed and then the kids are gonna go swimming for their little swimming time today. We've been trying to keep up with every morning we do like a little bit of a little bit of summer school just to kind of keep keep everything fresh and practice some of the things that we needed to work on at the end of the year. And and then yeah, we've just been enjoying the pool and the garden and we're looking forward to family. We're going to go camping in a little bit. So, um yeah, we're just we're enjoying the summer. And then this is CMA Fest this week in Nashville. And so I have a show on Sunday with my band. So, yeah, we're just kind of chilling unless I'm working. I'm kind of doing my thing around the house with the kids and finishing up the laundry. I'm gonna hang, I try to hang as much as I can outside. 
I didn't do it as much in California because we live next to horses and they would always kick up so much dust that it would actually get my clothes kind of dirty. So I'm really happy that I can do that here because my clothes were dried, our bedding was dried in like an hour hanging it up outside. And it's not really humid right now, so it's perfect for hanging the clothes up outside. Look at how beautiful the calendula is. I've been coming out and harvesting flowers every single day, collecting them, drying them, and then I'm gonna be able to make some homemade skincare with one of my favorite medicinal flowers to grow. And yeah, that completes my spring cleaning for today. It was really simple and some tips I know I've shared before, but I pretty much keep it the same around here and try to create those habits that uh, that last and that are sustainable and that really work for us. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like my channel, please be sure to subscribe for new videos and I'll see you very soon in the next one. Bye.